Chloe Demir of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It's a, another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes. And since my last video on my eyeshadow collection and a little bit of a declutter did so well, I thought maybe you just might be interested in my blushes and my highlighters too. So we will be going through the collection and see if I will declutter any. <laughs> what do you think? Will I? <laughs> if that's what you're into, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. So I thought for the first part, we will start with blushes. So I pulled out my blush drawer and then any that were in any um, packages that I had on display or in a drawer if they were too big for in here. And it's a bit of a mess, so I'm going to try, if I can, in between, go through and pick um, brands. But if I can't, forgive me if this is slightly messy. I think for the most part, there's a few brands I have a lot of and some I don't have a lot of. I where I just have the singles here or there. But maybe if I just pile a few out of here, then we can discuss my blush collection and see if there's any that I was wanting to maybe part with. I don't think so, but you would never know. Oh, hold on. I don't see one right here, actually. So I'm going to take out all the stuff that is kind of loosey-goosey in here. And then I do have a basket within this drawer. And then we can look at maybe those first. So there we go. Here's my little basket of more smaller ones. And let's see here. The first thing I've got here, this is from Moira. This is the Sunflower Beauty Blushing Goddess Duo. They have some normal colors and they have some crazy colors and I picked some of the crazy colors. So I've got this yellow and red shade. I really do like it. I am from this same collection. I panned one of their bronzer highlighter duos. And there is a little bit, I think you can see a little bit in the yellow at least, that there's a bit of a dip. I haven't used the, the red as much, but a little teeny weeny weeny dip will do you. I am going to keep this one. This is not one that I'm planning to get rid of. Um, let's see here. Here's where I have something where I have a couple of, and this is from Odin's Eye. And this was from, I think, probably the last collection I bought from them. So I got the Salme Sunlight Love Blusher in B103 Orange Sunny. And then I got the Salme Sunlight Love Blusher W102 in Peach Gleam. They are pretty... Oh, sorry if you hear my cat in her litter box. Oops, come here. We can open. I cut my nails. <laughs> so there we go. They are... I was going to say they're similar, but they're not. Um, I thought I had gotten um, one that was a little bit lighter, but I didn't. But this one is a little bit more matte. And then this one has a little bit more shimmer in there. Haven't used them as much as I like to. These are also ones where a little bit really goes a long way. But I'm still going to keep them because I love Odin's Eye. I love this packaging and I really need to play with them some more. Let's see here. Here's another one. I'm going to keep it, but it's a crazy, crazy color. And this is from Lethal Cosmetics. I, I can't remember. Did I? Yes, I think I purposely bought this shade. It wasn't from a mystery box or anything, but look at that. This is like the most intense red blusher ever, but it also works really nicely on the eye. And I've used that along with a, um, a super shimmery red I have to make a really intense red look. So of course I am keeping it and it, it's, it's adorned. So that is the shade adorned. So there we go. Keep forgetting that I always peel the little stickers off. Uh, let's see. I have from NYX, I have, and I love these so much. I have the Sweet Cheeks, I have the Matte and the Glow. I do love a yellow blush. The glowy one I like better. And as you can see, I've used that one a bit more, but also the, the yellow was the newer of the two as well. And I'm keeping them. I don't think you can get them anymore. 
um, at least not the yellow ones. I don't know if we can get the sweet cheeks at all, but I'm going to keep those yellow. Um, let's see. So this is a C. Oh, this is actually a highlight. Is this a highlight? Oh, it is. It's in the wrong drawer. So, but it is very, I think you can almost use it as a blush. So I'm going to just throw that in my highlighter drawer. All right. So here, this is a um, gift that I got from a friend from India. This is Lakme. This is from their nine to five collection. It's their Pure Rouge Blusher. I actually really, really enjoy this brand. It's a drugstore brand in India. Um, I don't use the little brush that comes with it, but it is a very pretty blush. And A, it was a gift. B, I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, let's see here. This one I got from, I believe from Shop Miss A. This is Mellow Blue Glitz. And it is this one here. I don't think I've used this one very much either, but it is also a very pretty pink blush. But it isn't very expensive. I haven't used it very much. I'm gonna put this in the maybe I might get declutter it pile. Uh, let's see here. Here's one where I've wanted to get more blushes from and this is from Beauty Bay. So this is the one in the shade Coral. It's very pretty. I really like Beauty Bay's quality and I really do like this blush so we are keeping it. I know I have so many blushes and it's like you don't use them enough but here you are. Um, this one I probably will definitely get rid of. This is from Milani. This is one called Cheek Kiss. Um, these, um, a lot of people really like them. It's a clean, cream um, blush. This was one, one of the ones where everybody was talking about. I'll show this one as well. I liked this one a little bit better. This was the Cheek Kiss, the Cheeky Coral. So I liked, I think, the tube one a little bit better. And this one, let me just show you that one here while we're here. Yeah, because this is definitely more leaning towards like an orange. So I liked this one a lot better and it was sheerer. So I think this one I will keep and I think this one I will declutter or maybe find a home for if somebody wants it in my friend group. Okay, let's see here. I've got two from Melt. I've got Sandy Cheeks and I've got Honey Thief. I like both of these so much. There we go. There's Honey Thief. It's a beautiful for if I want a more neutral blush. This is the one that I go for. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> uh, if I want a more neutrally blush. And then if I want one that has a little teeny bit more. And then plus I think this is a cream one. Yeah, so it's the cream version. So if I want a little bit more intense, but still more towards neutral, I'll go with that. So I'm keeping those as well. And then I think I'm almost done with my little drawer. I think I'm gonna have room in here. This is from Rude Cosmetics. This is Creamsicle. And uh, this is also a cream blush. I think this might be one of the next ones I'm going to put in my project pan after I finish the one. Oh, which I forgot. I didn't bring out. I don't think I brought any that were in my project pan. I do have a cream scenty one, which is all it, which was a bright pink that I'm panning. So I might put this one in next. And then we've got one from e.l.f. This is their putty blush. And that's when all this putty stuff came out. I thought I would give it a go. Um, it's a way drier of a formula for a putty br blush. I keep on calling it a putty, putty blush brush. I don't know why, but there we go. It has a nice texture. At first I thought, oh, maybe it's a bit dry, but it's not. When you put it on the skin, it goes from almost to a powder. So I quite like that. So I'm going to keep it. Um, and then I've got this one here. And then I got this via Timu. This is Lamela Powder Cake. I think it's supposed to be a blush, but it looks almost more like a single eyeshadow. Um, it was pretty cute. It's very neutral, but it doesn't really have a lot of payoff. So I think this one can go already. So there we go. So I've made a little bit room in here and let's look at some of these loose ones. So here, this one is from, who is this one from? 
I want to say I got this from Colored Rain and it's that one there or Dose of Colors but it doesn't say on the outside but this is a really pretty clean blush here it's a neutrally pink shade so I'm going to keep it but yeah it doesn't say Dose of Colors there we go it was underneath the big flap so yeah from Dose of Colors I really like that one I'm going to keep it got one here from one of the very few orders I did from She Glam. This is one of their blushes here in this interesting packaging there. It is that shade there. I really quite like it. Smells good. Oh, it's actually it smells really good. Not just good. Really good. I'm going to keep that. I haven't used it very much, but I need to get on that. Look at my arm. You can tell I kind of like corals and light pinks. <laughs> so here is one from Cover Effects. This was one a few years ago everybody's really excited about. This is the Monochromatic Blush Duo. There's a matte and a shimmer, so you can use it as a blush topper. You can even use it as a highlight if you wish. This is really pretty. Um, I think I got the lightest shade I could find and I'm going to keep it. I really like Color Effects. Their powder stuff is really, really good. Got a few things in my pan collection. Um, so I, for a while I was, well, I still like Wayne Goss. I just don't watch as many makeup and in figure influencers anymore, but this is from Wayne Goss. Oh, look at it. There's me times two. Um, so I did get this when it came out and I got some lippies in his collection, but this one is crazy. <laughs> that is the craziest blush. And it's also highlighter in there as well. Um, I barely used the, the blush because, here, wait, I'm running out of space there, but I'll stick it right there. Here it looks a little less crazy, but it goes on super intense. And then, of course, there is the highlighter, but I paid a good penny through Beautylish with it. I do like it, so I think I'm just going to keep it a little while longer. So from Lethal, I got one of the build, build palette sort of thing here, and I picked up three of their blushes here and I've got like the light corally pink, a yellow and an orange which is which has a little bit of shimmer which are three of my favorite colors for blushes. Look at that yellow though. It's absolutely insane. It's like sunflower yellow. It's so pretty. I'm keeping those for sure. And then we have another brand that I like. It's a black owned beauty brand. This is LYS Beauty and it's a clean cream blush use this one quite a bit. It's very pretty as well. I'm gonna have to clean my arm before I go through highlighters. Um, here we go. We are keeping this. Like I said, I didn't think I was gonna go through go through too many, get away too many um, of the blushes. Uh, well, let's grab this one. So this is from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. I just got to this in the Halloween mystery box. I like it. I like it a lot. A little goes a long way. It is the best orange color ever, but you can blend it out quite nicely to be um, light, lighter and it does have some nice play time to it. So I'm going to keep that. I almost thought it was a lipstick and they smell really, really, really nice. Um, oh, here, let's do a um, old school favorite. This is from NARS and of course it is the shade Orgasm. I just finished a teeny one, or I've got a couple uses left in it. I got um, that one in a birthday, and then I got this one in a mystery box off of Poshmark. And I discovered that I absolutely adore this blush, and when I don't know what I wanna use, I use this one. It's just so good. I can see why it was a cult favorite. Um, next up, we have Alice in Wonderland. So this is a duo. This is a blush highlighter duo, but this highlighter can definitely also work as a blush topper. And it's there in the shade Tickled Pink and Paint the Roses. And it was from the Alice in Wonderland collection. The quality of this is amazing. They're, I mean, I know they're known for br brushes, but they're, um, I've just discovered that I really like the quality of their makeup as well. Let's see here. Okay, I think I actually had a couple of them. So let's, oh no, I thought it was from the same brand, just the same type of packaging. All right, so this is from Juvia's Place. This is their Blushed Rouge Volume 2. 
I love Juvia's Place and I do love this one so much. I definitely have to use this a lot more because this neutral pink here is just a perfect everyday pink and then the kind of terracotta E1 in here is nice, nice more neutrally shade. I just need to use that a lot more as well. All right, then we have from Unearthly Cosmetics, we've got the Surrender Glowing Blush Palette. So this is again, one that you could probably use as highlight, but they are quite intense, the colors. Um, I really do like them a lot. And then they also will blend out um, to a lighter, lighter shade. So they um, can go, they will go onto your cheek very intensely, but again, you can make them less crazy. <laughs> And we're keeping that as part of the Valentine's Day collection. So this is one that I wanted. And of course, I think like most people ended up getting it in a Sephora sale. And then I ended up not using it, using it as much as I thought. So I might see if somebody wants this. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Diamond and Blush Palette. And this is it here. So on top, you've got the three creams. So you've got this cover there and then yeah, everything still smells lovely. And then you've got some highlighters and blushes as well. So it is a blush and it's highlighter kit. I've just not used it as much as I thought. I'm really hit and miss with Natasha Denona. I either, I either love something or it's eh. And I think this one is kind of on the eh. As you can see, I haven't used it very much. So I may find a home for that one, however. So let's pop that over here. So this is from Juvia's Place. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 2. This is also a very a beautiful blush palette. I can use every shade in here and it is going nowhere. Look at this beautiful blushy pink. So pretty. I love it. And I can also use it as eyeshadow. There we go. Um, Canadian. So here we go. This is from It's Likely Makeup. I have the Fairy Blush and the Clown Brush. Blush. See, I always want to call blushes brushes. Don't understand. Then I want to call brushes blushes. <sighs> Words are hard. So here is the Fairy Blush. This orange shade called Sunstone. I love it. I'm, I can already see the pan through there. It looks like I haven't used it, but I have, and I can see the imprint of the pan through here. I love these shades. I love all the shades, but for I, a lot of times I use the, I, these other ones more as um, eyeshadows, but I have used um, this is blush before, but I really like that Sunstone. The palette's worth it just for that. And then the Clown br Blush, all that there. And of course you have yellow and this terracotta works really nice. This is a really nice um, neutrally shade there as well. And then again, you can blend it out so it's less. There we go. So we are of course keeping these. Um, here we've got from Prados Beauty. I have something coming from their new collection with um, Lauren Gaudet. So I'm really excited. So I can use this blood pa blush palette with it as well. And again, it is beautiful. And it has these peachy tones that I adore in here as well. There we go. All right, here's one of actually my favorite blush palettes that I own. This is from OPV Beauty. This is the Born to Shine blush palette. I got this in a trend mood box and that was of black beauty brands. And then I discovered this beautiful. Um, they're also their eyeshadows, which I love, but this blush palette is amazing. Doesn't look like I've used it, but I have used it a lot. I think every, almost every color has some stars fading away in it, but my favorites are probably this shade, this shade, that shade, and that shade. So I think like this, the L, <laughs> uh, but I do like, I like them all. I just love this um, blush palette and I don't think I would ever give it up unless it starts getting yucky or something, but I don't know how long I've been grabbing after that shade, but uh, it's beautiful. Doesn't smell, so we're good. <laughs> so that's OPV, 
OPV Beauty London Born to Shine palette. Uh, here is another palette, and this is from Melt. So this was from the Norte palette, or Norte, was that? No, Mariposas, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mariposas collection, yeah, butterfly, dummy. And it is this one here. I can use all the shades on he in here. Um, I really like this pink and these two together here. I, and this one is the one I haven't used the most, but it is still a pretty color as well. There we go. You can tell I like the same kind of tones of things. So there actually didn't buy this originally with the collection. I bought some other things and then um, directly through Melt. And then when Sephora got it, I had kind of FOMO. So I ended up getting this and I'm glad I did. Uh, I'm getting close to the end here. Um, let's see here. We've got the BH Cosmetics and Blushing in Bali palette. So this is a six color blush and highlighter palette. So this is kind of more of a mix. But yeah, so the top row is supposed to be the blushers and these are the highlighters. Um, I like all the shades in here. Got this at our version of TJ Maxx winners. And uh, yeah, tis good. Um, a recent one I, I got gifted from Wilma is from C Color. Um, it wasn't quite as bright as she wanted. And this is the one that I got FOMO that I didn't buy when they were closing out. And she sent it to me. So I really enjoy this palette a lot. And there again, as you can kind of see in my tones are the same pinks and corals that I really enjoy. And this one has a lot of color payoff. So you need to be gentle. All right. Here is from Kaleidos. I don't think they make these versions anymore. Actually, I have two from Kaleidos. So this is the Lo-Fi Duo Blusher. This was from the first time they released blushes. It has a mirror in here, and then it has a matte, and then it has kind of a shimmery blush topper on there. Oh, it is so, this one is so, I'm running out of arm here, so soft and silky. Like, it just is so beautiful to the touch. But, and then you can put the nice shimmer on top. It's really beautiful. I'm going to keep that. And then from their newer blushes, from the last collection that I bought from them, it was the one that came with the duochrome multi-chrome eyeliners. I threw in one of the blushes because I wanted to try their new formula. And then of course I went with a corally shade and it is beautiful. I need to use it more. And we're keeping that. And then I've got one from Odin's Eye. This is from the Elba collection and it is Ripe Papaya. I really like this one. I, there's no, almost, most of the logo has been taken off. Um, and there we go, it's nice and silky. It's really light, um, but buildable. I really like that, so I'm keeping that. And then last but not least in Blush Realm, is this one that I got in um, an ice cream beauty box. This is from Swarovski US. And at first it took me a little bit to get used to figuring it out, to getting the color and blending the color. Cause it's like a, you know, like a fabric rose in there. And then it has um, somehow interspersed in here is blush. And now that I figured out how it works, I actually quite enjoy it. So we're just gonna keep it and use it up. So there we go. That is our blush collection. And so yeah, those are all keeping. And then like I said, um, for panning, we are going to get rid of this one. I will get rid of that one from Shop Miss A, the one from Timu, and then the one from Milani. So four. <laughs> All right, on to highlighters. And now we're on to the next drawer, highlighters. And hopefully I have got everything. I think I took one or two out of my project pan. So here we go. So let's start off with the one that we kicked out of the blush <laughs> area. This is the one that I got. Uh, it's an aged brand. I can't remember where I got it but I did like this imprint. I thought it was so pretty and the color is so gorgeous. I got most of the blush off. <laughs> um, there we go. So I'm going to keep that one. Highlighters, I think eh, anything, maybe one, maybe two. 
All right, so this is from the newest unearth one of the newest unearthly mystery boxes, pre the Halloween ones, which apparently just shipped. This is from the Get Groovy, Get Groovy um, Summer Mystery Box, and this was or Summer Box. This was the big one from the big one that I was gifted, and here it is. Wait till you see it. Look, orange, orange and yellowy highlighters just so good so good there we go nice and toppery i like these and of course it's going nowhere it's going to go nicely back into its collectible box um and speaking of things that are collectible boxes and unearthly this is the ghost light unearthly cosmetics highlighter palette this came out with that amazing halloween box that set the standard for all mystery boxes and these are the shades here. So you've got the purple with white, the green with gold, and then like a purple with peach. So good. And of course, I my favorite highlighter of all times. Oh, I didn't do a good job. I think I just did the one side, but not the other. So here we go. <laughs> I thought I got all the blush off, but I missed a whole arm. There we go. I love a green highlighter. So that's the shade Creepy Crawly. And of course that one is going nowhere. What was there? I thought I had washed both my arms, but I guess I just did that side and not that side. All right. So here's one that I may give up just because it is just way too vibrant for me. This is the one with from Fenty. It's Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. I just bought them on a whim at, again, our version of TJ Maxx. I thought they were so beautiful, but they are definitely... They go on, here, I'll just pop it on top there. Look at that, like way too intense for me. I mean, I could use it as an eyeshadow, I suppose, but as a highlighter, it was way too much for me. So I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. One that I love, this is from P. Louise. This is the Skin Bling. I got that in a Chris, the Christmas mystery house <laughs> last year from Wilma. You can tell I love it. I threw it in my project pan just because I was using it all the time. And look at that. It is beautiful. And the P and the L are almost gone. So this is kind of like with the um, orgasm from NARS. If I don't, if I don't know, or I'm in a rush and I just, just grab something, this is the other thing that I usually grab. Uh, let's see here. Here's a newer one. This is from Beauty Moon Cosmetic. This is the Enchantment Highlighter Palette. And of course, this one's going nowhere. A, it was gifted to me. And B, check it out. Uh, these are insanely gorgeous. Why? Oh, why would I get rid of them? I would not. So there we go. Um, and this one was also something that was apparently viral on the TikTok. This is, was from Susie Keki. Um, it's their Sunset Florist Highlighter Palette. Um, and you'll see why it kind of went viral. Because look, isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And it is. When it, by finger, you can get some payoff, but you, def, um, you definitely want to use a bit of a wet brush and then it goes on so beautifully. I had bought myself one and I had sent one to Sylvia Monroe in the Netherlands. Um, they're in the shades Rose, a Sunflower, and a Tulip. And like this one's purple with yellow. This one's just like white. And then this one is kind of like a peachy bronze and a gold. So nice. I really like it. That stain. Uh, from C Color, I've got the Fantasy Glow Kit. I got to this one in their closing out sale. It is gorgeous. I'm sad that um, brands are just going down. There was another one that just recently went as well. I see is going to be closing down um, something rose. If I remember, I'll put it on top. Anyways, but uh, yeah, this is such a beautiful highlighter palette. I really, really like it. They go on quite nicely. Actually, let's do it on an arm that doesn't have eyeshadow all over it. I should say blusher on it over it. They go on better with a brush than with a finger though, but there we go. I thought that the quality was really good, especially when it only ended up costing like a dollar or something in the end. Um, from Ace Beauté, I have uh, the Essentials Highlighter Palette. I actually ended up getting this on Poshmark. Um, 
but it is a beautiful like look at they are just absolutely stunning so of course this is going nowhere and plus i just recently got these so there we go or i say within the last year oh speaking of amazing highlighters this is from blend bunny and this is the knock lucent highlighter palette this is seriously the bee's knees this is gorgeous i've used them so many times like look at this like duo chromey multi chromey goodness highlighters they look all white in one angle and then except for that one and but then depending on what angle you get you can see that they've got other colors in them and this is going nowhere um, speaking of fun and beautiful colors i've got the over the rainbow palette this is from rising star MUA i or cosmetics i got to this for my birthday from one of my besties and look at that green purple and peach mm. so of course i'm keeping that um, oh, another favorite. This is from Gourmand Girls. This is the Bold and the Brilliant. Um, I think she's sold out right now, but she should get these back in stock. These are absolutely amazing, especially these three. This one is a little bit darker for me, but you can definitely use that on the eye for shine. So it will not go to waste. There we go. If it does come in back in stock, I highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, let's see here. Let's do since I got a whack of it. This is from Odin's Eye. So I have their three highlighter palettes. This is the one from the Soul Main Collection. Like that, which is absolutely beautiful. Brain Melt Averted. Okay, so this is from the Elva 2. And then this is the one, this is the one out of the two out of the Soul Main. And this one I like better. So it has that beautiful blue and then these um, light the light shades in there. Really do like it. I'm a huge fan of Odin's Eye. So I have, oh, I might as well, let's do it. So then from the Norns, I have the three palettes. These ones I can't swatch. Um, it was basically, um, I got the heads up that if you swatch them with your fingers, you get hard pan right away. So when I use these, I will only use a makeup brush. But there's the one shade there. Um, this one was in Web of Destiny. That's the purple with gold. And then the last one, and this was the one that I really liked out of the three. This is the first collection of theirs that I bought the whole entire. And this is Spring of Life, where I bought the whole collection. All the palettes, all the highlighters, all the all. And that one is beautiful. But again, um, you do not do not use your fingers to, or you will get a hard pan. Make sure to use your brush. Uh, let's see, I've got a lot of highlighters. Uh, okay, let's do the last couple palettes and then we'll go all the rest singles. So this is from Lethal Cosmetics. It's one of their Build Your Palettes. A couple of these I got in um, Mystery Bags. I think it was these two. And then this one I bought myself. Halo I bought myself, um, but Gamma and Fusion had both come in other mystery boxes there. But I love Lethal, so keeping those. And then, oh, is this, do I have even more? Oh, yes. <laughs> and then I have even more highlighters from Lethal. So this one too, I bought a palette that would fit all four. So I've got Cryotasis, Moonrock, Eviscerate, and Plan 9. I think some of them were part of the Teresa is Dead, I believe. And then, but there we go. And of course, the green. Of course, I'm going to take the green one. I'm, not, I'm never going to say no to a green highlighter ever. So there we go. And then I have one other little, I think, palette. Yes. And then this is the best smelling highlighters on the planet. Oh, I got some of the squish the blue and this is from um oh, lordy bitter lace beauty there we go oh my god these are so beautiful these are my favorite i would love to get more from them but the shipping is absolutely insanity but these are so, so look at that i mean these are the probably the most blingy out of all the highlighters that i own sometimes i just like to open it to smell them <laughs> Here, let's go. 
like so. Look at these. Oh, so beautiful. They're going nowhere. And then I think that's it. Um, I think everything else is like singles. So from Revolution Beauty, I've got to be a dragon heart. I like this one, so I won't give that one up. Uh, one of my newer ones here is from ZZ Cosmetics. This is a beautiful um, everyday highlighter. Um, it's got some bling, but the color is um, very neutral for a highlighter. From Odin's Eye, I got the Solmain Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Moon Talk. And then when you see the color, of course, you're going to be like, of course, you got that one. It's the green one. Ever since the, um, I never got the green one from Kaleidos. If I see a green highlighter and I want a green highlighter, I buy it. Um, so this one, I think this one I'm going to give up. I've had it for a really long time. This is a loose hide. I've got two. I, I believe I have two. Yes, I do. So one is lighter and I can wear it. The one in Cleo, I believe. And then the other one in Nefertiti is a little bit too dark for me. I've been holding it on for a long time. Um, either I got it in a mystery bag or I bought it because I wanted to try it and thought it wouldn't be too dark, but it was. And then I got this one. Cleo, and this one I'm going to keep because it is not too dark. So we're going to keep this one, and then we are going to do that one. Um, my favorite, probably one of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is from Give Me Glow. This is their Moonlight Shimmer Powder. I love this so much. Wish I could have bought more of theirs. Again, they're another brand where shipping is a lot, and their products are expensive, but. Oh my God, when you do spend the money, they are so worth it. So this is one of my favorite highlighters ever. Um, and then my other favorite highlighter should be here. Oh, it's in my project pan. Um, but I have one of their other ones here. So I'll just show this other one. So from Ofra, my favorite, hi one of my favorite highlighters, and one I've, I've panned one, I'm panning a second one, and actually one is in the Ice Cream Beauty box, is the, um, oh crap, what is it called? Um, Rodeo Drive. Um, yeah, I have, I forgot to grab that one. I do have it in my, um, project pan, but I did when, the, just before all the, um, drama came out with um, them. I got to this one and it's the Mother Earth and of course it looks white and but it has depending on how your light hits it it will it's not showing it now but it does have a bit of a green tinge to it but anyways I am a fan of Ofra's highlighters. Shh. Okay um, let's see um, here's one from Beauty Bay. This one is called Flash. I quite like this one as well. It is very pretty. I mean, nothing's going to compare to that one, but there we are. Um, got one. This one is also too dark. It came in a mystery box, but this is PSL Pumpkin Spice, so I'm going to keep it. This is from Sydney Grace. But it is very beautiful. Um, like so. Might use it more maybe for the eye. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, this one I got in um, Timu. I really do like this one. It's a cute little white and blue one. I am going to, it is more toppery than it is. Um, yeah, I'm keeping that I just out of hand. Um, this one I got in, um, Got in an ice cream beauty box. This one's nice as well. The So Rich Glow Light. Um, I just got this pretty recently, but it is also a very pretty, very shimmery, very blingy. It is probably the closest to my um, Give Me Glow, so I think. So I will keep that. I have a from Becca, which sort of kind of exists, but doesn't exist. Anywho, we got this little highlighter. This is in Lilac Geode, and it is a lilac -y shade. So, still smell good. We're keeping it. 
Um, so this is a highlighter, but I use it as eyeshadow. This is from Bitter Lace Beauty. This one doesn't have a smell though. It's not like the other ones, but look at that beautiful shade of red. And I use this um, when I do red looks. Not showing how shimmery it is, but it is very, very, very shimmery. Keeping that, uh, let's see. Ooh, here's another one that kind of went viral. This is How Many Carrots, and this is from Fenty Beauty, and I just love this one. It is just, you just want to smear it all over your body. It A, feels really good. It feels so nice to touch, but it's just glimmery, wet. Look at that. Doesn't it just look like water? Like, it's just so... <laughs> Not enough spaces. But anyways, I like this and I'm keeping it. Still smells good, so I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> um, oh, here's from a Canadian brand. This is Jean-Luc Cosmetics. This is the Rain Go Grow, Rain Glow Highlighter. Um, and it is this is beautiful shade here. I need to use this a bit more. It's super pretty. Uh, just a light pinky highlighter. I really do like it. Um, let's see. Oh, here might be one. I need. Am I, is this one I might want to get rid of? Yes, this is probably one I will. This is from Elf. Uh, I think it was one of the choices I could have for spending X amount of money. Or maybe I might keep this. Hold on. Now that I'm just swatching it. No, I think I will actually. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. No, that's nice. No, we'll we'll keep. No, we'll keep that. I lied. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, a Charlotte Tilbury. This is one of the limited edition ones here. Uh, we'll just keep it. It is nice. It's very smooth. It is too dark for me, but I still want to keep it. So there we go. From Melt, I have the Shadow Play Blush. They're calling it a blush light, but for me, this is way more highlight. And it is green. It goes to a green. Uh, do, do, do. Right there. I like it, so we will keep it. Um, what now? A formula that I really love. This is from Colored Rain. This is their Facial Point Glow Lighters. I have it in Just Peachy, Lavender Dreams, and Cutie Pie. One I believe is too dark, but I'm keeping it anyways. Here is Cutie Pie. I love it. I like to collect all of them. I think there's a few shades I don't have. This one is Lavender Dreams. This one is just stunning. Look at it. And then I think this is one that's a little bit too dark, but I still like it anyways. Yeah, and I, I had stuck my finger in it, which is just peachy. Oh, it's just so pretty. I will find a way to use it at some point. It's so beautiful, but I won't give it up. Nope, not yet. Alrighty, uh, let's see, what do I got? Oh, there might be a few that I can get rid of. Okay, so this is from Spectrum. I did a Spectrum mystery box that was makeup and, look, I'm glowing from space, man. Makeup and brushes. And this is in the shade Moonlight. I can't remember if I like this one or not. I can't remember. It has little like beady things in it. Um, Pop it in there. Oh no, that's pretty. No, we'll keep that. Um, this one is from Kinder Glow. I got this also in a mystery box. And this is four different ones. Um, they're more... Hmm, more toppery. They're okay. Um, just messing around there. They're okay. I think I'll keep it for now. I only have the one thing here. Oh, this one. So this is Teresa's is Dead Fault. So this is the by Mario highlighter. In it's their soft glow highlighter in opal. Uh, there wasn't really anything so far in the by Mario releases that really intrigued me, but until I saw this, and it is so beautiful. It's very it's white and it's very or opal. It's very also very shimmery. So I think. Oh, I think I know we're gonna keep that one. We're getting close, we're getting close. This is from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. When her brand finally went to, I guess, to a website versus, 
after the lip skate gate when everything looked like it was kind of okay i bought oh maybe i'm missing something here uh oh or is it oh i think i'm missing a piece okay so i had oh no it was a bronzer and something else anyways yeah and then but this highlighter here this is in the shade iced this also feels so good it's so smooth it is uh, finding a spot here that i can use oh hold on you can see it is very um it's a light this is one definitely where you can kind of go go to town and put on your face it's just very nice and shimmery I'm going to keep that for now um, so now there was Anastasia Beverly Hills. It was their uh, Amarisi highlighter I want to go with. So we've got a couple, a, a brand that is kind of one of the shades was a dupe. I will know when I open which one it is. But this is from Hojo. You can get this via Amazon. And I got, they had three shades. I got two of them. I got to this one here. And this one, I don't think this one is the cover. This isn't, I don't think this is the um, dupe. Um, and then this one was the pink one. Anyways, it is that shade there. It is really nice. And then I think this, I think this is the one that's supposed to be the dupe for the Amarisi. And uh, yeah, they don't have color. I was calling them discs. I think they were numbered, but I think it was this one here. I've used this one more out of the two. It's really beautiful. So we're keeping those. And then we're now going to go to my favorite brand of highlighters. And that is, oh, I might have one of my project hand here, Kaleidos. So except for the green one and one of their, their second fancy one, I think I have them all. Um, maybe. I think there were a couple that they reformulated. And then I think I liked the original one better. And I think I might have given away the reformulated version. But I have, and I have one backup of my favorite and another one. Maybe when I get to the end, I'll go grab it. So this is, what is it here? This is Mars Melter. They all look mostly white to begin with. And then they have their different shift. This one has a bit of a red shift. I'm going to actually put, I have the limited edition. When they reissued some, they brought, brought out a box, a silver box. I'm going to end up putting these back into the silver box, I think. This one is Comet Catcher. Um, that one has a pink. I think that one had more red. That was a bit pink. Then we've got Skywalker. This one has a blue tinge to it. Then we have a Space Age. Like so. And I think this one's got like a blue and purple there. We have a Ray Rider. This is the one I think that was one of their more popular ones. This one is a very, um, the shade is very neutral, but it's still very Kaleidos blingy. And then we have Space Age. So this one might be a little bit more of a pink. And we have Diamond Dasher. This one's also a nice more neutrally shade. And then I only have one of their duochrome multi-chrome ones. This is Space Age Prophecy. And that one is that one here. Look at that. It's just insane. Okay, I will go grab those two that I mentioned earlier. We'll be back in a second. All right, and there's a Solar Sailor. This is my other favorite, one of my favorite of all times. So the Ofra, the Give Me Glow and this one here and this is one i have a backup of and again it is one of my favorites ever uh, maybe i don't know right now the lights are bright for me so i don't know how it's showing on you until i edit but anyways this is my favorite and then quickly go to show yeah this is the other oprah one this is the rodeo drive this one i actually bought an error an error i went to get Nikki Tutorials had her donut one. I think it was Nikki Tutorials. And I, and I thought I had it because they were, they were kind of labeled. And then I got home and it was Rodeo Drive. And I bought it in the States. I was in Canada. Thought, okay, we'll try it. And I loved it. I panned one. Like I used it pretty much every day until it was gone. And then I bought myself another one. And like I said, now I'm going to have a backup of it because of the ice cream beauty. But I love this one. So this is one where, like with the P. Louise, 
if I don't know what else to wear, I will grab that one. I know they're not in favor at the moment. Naughty, naughty owner. But here we go. So that is my highlighter collection. So I'm just gonna go and clean up and we'll come back for final thoughts. Well, there we go. There is our blush and highlighter collection. What was it? <laughs> Three blush blush is gone and two highlighters that was it i didn't think there would be much going um i like what i like <laughs> i'm a little bit picky about those products and uh, there we go so anyways that was a look into part of my collection if you like this video please give it a like a comment and subscribe and maybe even hit that notification bell i try to post on mondays and fridays and throw in a few extra videos when i can so, as always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.